uh, shalom shalom uh, uh, good uh, good morning and it is morning over here right now and uh, um, uh, the camera was a little shaky uh, in the beginning but I hope it's gonna stabilize uh, eventually but but God has asked me to uh, uh, you know uh, release a, a, a special prophetic uh, um, uh, revelation this morning I hope you can handle it uh, um, because he has asked me to speak against the spirit of discouragement when when you when you want to get started when when you have some 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 visions and and some programs and plans that you have enunciated and then uh, suddenly you 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 derail uh, because people are uh, are discouraging you there are some you know evil uh, satanic forces that tend to throw you off your track but today I have come to uh, speak against that spirit of discouragement because because I speak by the power of the Holy Ghost and uh, and 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 I hope you're going to receive this uh, very important revelation. Uh, uh, for, uh, so so let, let me uh, 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 take you to the to the book of Judges. We're going to go to the book of Judges uh, um, and uh, chapter eleven. We're going to go to the uh, book of Judges, chapter 11. I'm going to read a, 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 a text that I already prepared um, in the book of Judges, chapter 11. I'm going to read from verse 1. Yeah, it's a little long, uh, it's uh, uh, you know, longer than uh, you know, I usually read because it's important uh, to draw out some of the important, uh, uh, some of the uh, you know, critical uh, you, you know, you know, message that uh, is embedded in this uh, uh, text the, the book of judges chapter 11 i'm going to read from verse 1 and i'm going to stop uh, at verse 11 so judges verse, verse 1 it says jephthah the gileadite was a mighty warrior his father was gilead and his mother was a prostitute gilead's wife also bore him sons and when they were grown up they drove Jephthah away. You are not going to get an inheritance in our family, they said, because you are the son of another woman. So Jephthah fled from his brothers and settled in the land of Tob. That's T-O-B, not like a bad Tob. Uh, uh, Tob, T-O-B. Where a gang of scoundrels gathered around him and followed him verse 4 sometime later when the Ammonites were fighting against Israel the elders of Gilead went to get Jephthah from the land of Tob come they said be our commander so we can fight the Ammonites verse 7 Jephthah said to them didn't you hate me and drive me from my father's house? Why do you come to me now when you are in trouble? Verse 8. The elders of Gilead said to him, Nevertheless, we are turning to you now. Come with us to fight the Ammonites, and you will be our head over all of us who live in Gilead. Jephthah answered, Suppose you take me back to fight the Ammonites, and the Lord gives them to me. Will I really be your head? The elders of Gilead replied, The Lord is our witness. We will certainly do as you say. So Jephthah went with the elders of Gilead, and the people made him head and commander over them. They didn't just make him one thing. They made him a head and a commander. Now we're going to see the difference between the two uh, in the course of this uh, podcast. And he repeated all his words before the Lord in Mispa. Praise God. Um, so, so today uh, I, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to release a prophetic word over the spirit of discouragement so some people are going to discourage you there, there are some evil occultic satanic influences that that uh, uh that, that that tend to uh, uh, discourage you when 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 the hand of god is, is resting on your life today i'm going to kill that uh, that spirit uh, uh, uh let me begin by uh, drawing an analogy uh, uh albert einstein uh, the famous scientist um was not a good uh, student in primary school 
the, because he was always engaged in abstract thinking you know the the the, the school teacher uh, you know dismissed him as as lazy as as a slob as as one who was slovenly slow because he would ask questions that would throw everybody uh, you know uh, out of sync so 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 but but uh, uh, but but then uh, um, in the course of his life he ended up he ended up uh, 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 executing and articulating a, a very important uh, scientific theory no, known as the theory of relativity. Um, I do not understand uh, uh, some of the underlying uh, you know, concept of that theory, but um, you know, uh, the scientific community uh, has, come to, um, uh, has come to understand that theory as, as one of the most uh, fundamental uh, uh, scientific theories. I, I think it has to do with uh, uh, gravitational force and its relationship with uh, forces of nature. Uh, you know, with the little, uh, you know, I, I wasn't a good student, my, uh, a good primary school student myself, but with the little uh, understanding of uh, 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 physics, I think gravitation has to do with gravity. You know, when something is falling from the sky, uh, it just it just comes down with such a force, the force of gravity. You know. So, so, uh, but, but this uh, scientific theory is one that confuses and still confounds people around the world. But he was the one who articulated it, even though he was dismissed in primary school. He was discouraged uh, in primary school as somebody who had no place in an academic community. Now, let me bring it a little closer. Myself, um, I wasn't particularly a very bright student when I was in primary school. I was really, really, uh, if you describe me as slow, um, it will not. It will not be an, an overstatement. If you describe me as dumb, it won't be an understatement because I was really, really out of reality with uh, uh, the uh, the, cur the elementary school curriculum to the extent that uh, I had to repeat elementary four. Um, and and not, not that uh, if if I had been given uh, the structures, uh, the scaffold and support that I needed to succeed. That I wouldn't have succeeded because I had a, a, a teacher that uh, was really, really trifling. He, he was, um, you know, he had that spirit of discouragement. He, he was always uh, making negative, uh, you know, uh, comments about me. You know, um, you know, I was just like uh, in elementary four, probably six years or, or seven years. So, so I needed, uh, you know, support, which I didn't quite get. You know, at, at one point the teacher. Uh, he was always demoralizing me, you know, and, and depressing me. At one point, he said, uh, um, you know, you know my, my father would be better off. And he knew my father. I knew my mother. My father would be better off to apply the money that was used for my tuition to buy a dog. At least, uh, you know, the dog will bark. You know, when the bad guys come to our house, it will bark and, and drive them away. Um, now, now that, that hurt so much. That was like a thousand daggers that just pierced through my heart you know as a child you know you know words are very powerful because apostle paul said there is the power of life and death in the tongue so so when he spoke those words they were very discouraging they, they didn't help me um, navigate the often uh, difficult maze of of primary school curriculum but i i spoke against that spirit of discouragement i i said i was going to encourage myself when, when, when uh, uh, King David, uh, 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 you know, reached the town of Ziklag, you know, the, the, the people that, that were fighting with him, the, the soldiers were fighting with him, uh, 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 connived. They, 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 uh, they, there was a conspiracy to stone him. And, and, and he encouraged himself in the Lord. So, so if people are discouraging you, it is, your, it is incumbent on you to lift yourself up, to brace yourself up. So, so I spoke to that uh, spirit of discouragement, which that teacher was uh, always assigning to me, that I was going to rise above the trifling, uh, tacky mindset of that of that uh, school teacher. And and uh, um, you know, when I went to high school, um, you know, I had very supportive teachers, and I started getting the concept. I started, uh, you know, becoming a good student. And I have a question for that uh, teacher that elementary teacher because right now that stone which has been rejected has become the cornerstone of the house because I, I had to rise above some of 
uh, my uh, difficult uh, you know, moments in elementary school, now God ordained me a prophet unto the nations. Now I'm on, on YouTube, I'm on, on my Facebook, I'm on uh, different social media platforms, you know, preaching the gospel. Uh, 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 unto the nations. Now, now I got a question for the teacher. How do you like me now? Because you never discourage people. The spirit of discouragement will make you weak. It will, it will weaken you at the knee and, and, and throw you off your course. Throw you off the destiny God has already spoken over your life. So, so we read this text. I'm going to begin to dis uh, dis uh, dis deconstruct and excavate the text that we read in the in the book of Judges, uh, chapter eleven. I read from verse one uh, to um, uh, verse eleven. Uh, uh, so 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 we we we, we come across uh, we, we come across a young man named Jephthah. You know when when uh, uh, Israel was ruled by judges. You know there there were no kings in Israel during this time period, uh, and Jephthah was a judge in Israel for seven years. He, he didn't go to college. He, 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 he didn't receive any formal training. But the hand of God was on his life. God, 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 the, the, the text says that, that, that it, 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 the text says in verse 1 that Jephthah the Gileadite was a mighty warrior. See, you see, you see, the, the, the God, God gave him a special skill. He has special skill set to be a mighty warrior to be mighty warrior means a, 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 a mighty a mighty war, a mighty warrior he he, a, a, <clears throat> he so some texts will say he was a, a mighty man of valor valor means uh, uh, you know courage you know heroism to to be able to go to go to the field of battle and 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 trounce your enemies so so he was a mighty a mighty man uh, or, or a mighty warrior a, a, a mighty uh, man of valor that that that's his uh, that that that's his assignment. He, he was so so every time he went to the battlefront, he would defeat his enemies. And and he was also uh, a judge. Uh, I don't want you to see a judge uh, during this time period in Israel in its restrictive sense. A judge uh, at that time uh, were the people who came together to make uh, policies that uh, uh, would provide good governance and. Uh, you know justice and peace within the Israeli community. So and judges also had the assignment to also levy war against the enemies of Israel. So so he participated in most of the wars that uh, uh, that uh, ancient Israel fought in order to maintain his uh, sovereignty. So and, and uh, so so uh, so he, his father was Gilead and his mother was a prostitute. You see, oh, oh, uh, uh, the, the 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 author of the text. Started, started assigning uh, um, uh, accolades to him. He was a mighty man of valor, and and his father was Gilead. But but all it took was uh, 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 two uh, uh, two clauses in 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 verse one to for the spirit of discouragement to rear his ugly head. Because now they said uh, even though he was a mighty man of valor, but his his mother was a prostitute. You see, the, 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 the spirit of discouragement, the, the demonic spirit of, of, of discouragement will always uh, try to attack you. Even though God's hand is resting on you. Because they know if you are left alone, the progress you are going to make will uh, over, overshadow their, their, uh, their, their mediocrity. They, if 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 they are, if they are left alone, the, if they, if you are left alone, the new businesses, the new business you have just started is going to overtake theirs. The, 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 your, your, the, your career is going to catapult you into the position of of the managing director because that's the spirit of discouragement. So they're gonna try to throw dirt. They're gonna they're gonna try to uh, you know uh, speak negatively. You know they they're gonna uh, try to despise you. They're gonna they're gonna you know you know speak those words that uh, are going to uh, you know depress the spirit and d discourage you. So 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 today I I, I come by I, I speak by the power of the Holy Ghost and uh, I, 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 that 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 that, 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 that they, they will release a special covering over over your life. I I I I, I speak by, by the para, power of the of the prophets of old. I I, I call on every archangel to, to, to release a special covering. So so to, 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 to cover you from the from the very top of your head. 
down to the to the soles of your feet. I call I call on Angel Gabriel. Huh? I call on Angel Raphael. I call on Angel Angel Michael. The, 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 God, God, I feel I feel a, a, a revelation right through in here. I call I call on all the angels, the cherubim and seraphim. I call on the on the heavenly host. God, God, I feel a deliverance right through in here to 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 to, to come down right now, to come down right now, and give full force to to these revelations that that God has uh, deposited into my spirit. So it's gonna get a little tight right now, but but I want you to follow this. So so, so they say his his mother is a prostitute, and and if you watch the text, if you watch the gravitation of the text, there is no place so far in the text that shows that a prophet a, a prostitute existed in that city. And I got a question: If his half brothers have declared declared him the son of a prof, a, pro, a prostitute. I keep mixing up uh, prostitute and prophet. Praise God. If his half brothers have assigned him the position of the son of a prof prostitute, prostitute. I got a question. What was their father, Gilead, doing with a prostitute to the extent that he impregnated, he impregnated her to have a, a child who the text has already declared a man of mighty valor that's a rhetorical question because i don't see anything in the in the text or in the extant literature or in all the commentaries that suggests that a prophet existed in the city of gilead and i'm going to address the city of gilead very soon so in verse 3 it says gilead's wife also bore him sons and when they were grown up, they drove Jephthah away. So, so Gilead, Gilead, the father of Jephthah, was legitimately married to a woman whose name the author did not uh, furnish us. But there was a wife. We don't know whether he still uh, she was alive or dead during this time period because uh, she never came up again in this narrative. But she bore Gilead's sons. We don't know their numbers. They must have been uh, like five or more. For because uh, Jephthah was a mighty man of valor, for, for so for him to be driven out of town, uh, they, they must have overpowered him. But we don't know for sure. But we're gonna find out. And they tell him, they, 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 so Gilead's wife also bore him sons, and they were grown up. They drove Jephthah away, so they drove, drove him away, saying, "You are not going to get an inheritance in our family." They said because you are the son of another woman so so if you look at the text this is about inheritance this is about appropriation of their father's inheritance it's not even whether or not uh this man was truly born out of wedlock the, the, uh, you know the the extant literature does not support that they were uh, 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 calling him names in order to uh discourage him that spirit of discouragement was being used to to uh, uh you know uh, kick him out of his inheritance but 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 i i speak by the power of the holy ghost i i come uh, 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 you know through the prophetic authority of the prophets of old that every evil and satanic occultic force attempting to deny you of your inheritance of your god inheritance i bind it right now by the blood of jesus god i feel a deliverance right through in here because the enemy will always call names, will always use epithets just to discourage you. The spirit of discouragement is all, always around, especially when you have an assignment, when there is a call over your life. That spirit of dis di discouragement, that's, that spirit of, of weakness that will make you weak and, and throw you off balance will always be ever present. But I come against it right now in the name of the prophets of old, in the name of the archangels. Uh, the, the archangels are already in this atmosphere and they are working with me. When I move, they move. And therefore, I want you to work with your prophet. When I move, you need to move because we need to bind the spirit of discouragement that is attacking your purpose, that, it, uh, that is attacking your assignment, that is attacking the call over your life because there's a call over your life. God has already prepared an assignment for you and you must reach your goal. You must reach the, uh, the end of, of, of your objective and plan. Now, I come against that spirit. 
through the power of the prophets of old, prophets of ancient Israel. Now, uh, 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 there, 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 there is an anointing right through in here. And, and I want you to walk with me. There is a, a spirit of deliverance that, that is already uh, descended in this atmosphere. And, 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 and that spirit, that occultic spirit, that nefarious spirit, that, that malicious spirit that will not let you accomplish your goal, whether it's in, in the area of your education, the in area of uh, uh, growing your business, the in, in, the, in the area of your children's education, in your marriage, I bind it by the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's keep moving on. So, so, so they drive him out of town. But watch what happens. So Jephthah fled from his brothers. He, 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 he couldn't deal with the, the, the trifling and, and, the, and the tacky atmosphere that, that, that pervaded the, 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 the environment. He, 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 he had to leave. So, so he fled from his brothers and settled in a land called Tob, where a gang of scoundrels gathered around him and then followed him. Scoundrels are, are, are miscreants, those, uh, those uh, uh, deplorable, pathological, uh, nihilistic individuals. Uh, that's, that's what, but, but we didn't hear about them again. The, he, he, so, so in verse 3, he, say, he says, so, so when he fled, when Jephthah fled from his brothers, he, he settled in the land of Tob, uh, where a gang of scoundrels gathered around him, and then they followed him. See, there, there, is, there is something uh, 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 energetic, there is, there is something outstanding about this part of the text. Now, he, 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 f uh, he flees to a town uh, 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 known as Tob, and people who don't even know him gathered around him, had a trust in him, and then they followed him. They, they, they followed him because the hand of God was resting on his life. Even though he went to a place where he was a stranger, where people never knew him from Adam, yet they had so much trust in him, and they followed him. And, and preacher, what are you talking about? In this new dispensation of your life, you will find yourself in a strange place, and people are going to impress you. People are going to surround you. They are going to look up to you as, as a, a role model, as a, as a perfect example of of uh, uh, of what uh, a standard behavior of conduct should look like. You, when you go into an office, when you get a new job, people are going to automatically see you as a supervisor, a de facto supervisor, even though that's not your uh, uh, title and position, because the hand of God is on your life, because there is an anointing over your life, because there is a call over your life, Strangers will throw stuff into your life that your own family won't even contribute. Strangers are going to make provision for you. Strangers are going to give you transportation. Strangers are going to ride you to the end. To, to, strangers are going to, to ride you to your destiny. This is the word of the prophet. And I feel a revelation right through in here. When I speak, I speak the words of the ancient prophets and if i be a prophet of god every single word that proceeds from the lips of my mouth will never return to me void because when i move you move the, the prophet is in the house and i bind every spirit of discouragement that is about to cut you off from your destiny even right now so 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 they run him out of town and he goes to a strange land and strangers embrace and surround him and then they follow him and watch what the text says it says so sometime later when the ammonites were fighting israel so ammonites were uh, uh the arch enemies of israel they were always fighting them trying to wipe them out of creation as 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 iran is all, uh, already uh, threatening israel to wipe israel from from the from the first of the earth but i will speak and bind that spirit of discouragement even right now so 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 as the ammonites the arch enemies of israel were fighting israel there's already a fight i'm sure if if uh, jephthah was in the house the ammonites will be scared to even leave you war against uh, Israel because they know how he gets down. He know they know he's not he, he don't he doesn't play that. But they started fighting Israel. I guess uh, they took Israel on our ways, just like the Arabs took Israel on our ways in the Six Day War, the Yom Kippur War, the all the other wars. They always take them on our ways. And I believe 
this uh, the Ammonites at attacked Israel uh, uh, during Shabbat or during uh, Passover or one of those uh, days, uh, ho high holy days that Israel was uh, 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 not supposed to do anything. They were not supposed to be seen on the street or, or performing any any work at all. So now they levy war against them. Uh, and, and, and then uh, the, 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 the Ammonites uh, started fighting Israel and, and the elders of Gilead, watch this, went to get Jephthah from the land of top so 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 they had to go go find him and, and they said watch this come they said be our commander so we can fight the ammonites they 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 they, they, they promoted him they gave him a promotion uh, 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 keep in mind that jephthah is not college educa educated he didn't go to any military school he didn't go to sign horse in britain he didn't go to uh, uh, west point in new york he didn't go to israeli defense academy he didn't go to the nigerian defense academy in in, in Kadu so so he he didn't even have uh, laurels or or, or ma military pa paraphernalia he didn't he, he, he didn't have a you know ranks he didn't have a uh, uh epaulets he didn't there, there was nothing he but 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 the hand of god was resting on his left. The elders of Gilead, the Gilead sends emissaries to go and appeal to Jephthah to come and fight their enemies. Uh, and, now, and now I speak by the power of the Holy Spirit that, that the, the, the people who have spoken evil against you will come to apologize to you. Those, those who have done you dirty, those, those people who have been nefarious and malicious against you will prostrate and kiss your feet. But when, when the time comes, the, the, that supervisor, uh, uh, that mean sp spirited supervisor who made you lose your job is going to seek you out but, and ask you to come back to your job in the next 72 hours you will be on your desk doing your job because no one has the skill set that you have god i feel deliverance i feel the spirit of deliverance right through in here the, those people who have spoken evil against you those people who have connived and 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 uh, 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 come together against you those people who who the, 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 who have uh, uh, always ganged up against you will kiss your feet. They will apologize to you because the spirit of God, because the, the, there is an assignment. The spirit of God is resting on your life. There is a call over your life. And whatever God has blessed, the enemy cannot curse. God, I feel revelation right through in here. When I speak, I speak through the prophetic words of the prophets of old, the prophets of ancient Israel. They have uh, descended the atmosphere uh, uh, around which I operate. And when I move, they move. When I move, you move too, because there is the spirit of dis discouragement that is running amok in your life that whenever you make plans, plans that God has ordained, the spirit of a cult, the spirit of, uh, of discouragement, the demonic spirit of discouragement is always uh, rearing is said to throw you off balance but i bind it by the special blood of jesus christ even right now the the elders of gilead they sent a misery to 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 to, to uh Jeff, jephthah and, and, and by the way the the, the jephthah the word jephthah the name jephthah means he opens that, that's the meaning of the of the of the name Jephthah. Uh, uh, it means he opens, and and, and the he, the, the pronoun, uh, the personal pronoun he. Uh, starts with uh, uh, a capital letter. The the, uh, the 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 first letter of the word he starts with a capital letter, which has association with God. He opens. That 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 means in this new season of your life. All the doors that were previously closed to you shall open wide. In this new season of your life, God, I feel a spirit of revelation right through in here. In this new dispensation, that promotion that has been closed to you, the doors will begin to open up. God, I feel an elevation right through in here. In this spirit, that admission that has been denied your children to study medicine, to study law, to study engineering and architecture are swinging open. God, in the next 72 hours, doors will begin to open for you. Doors that were previously closed. Because the meaning of the word Jephthah means he opens. 
God is going to open opportunity for you left, right, and center. The, 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 the enemy that has blocked your access to, to, to glory, that, that has blocked, blocked your access to, 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 to all the emerging opportunities that, that God spoke over your life, they, 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 they are going to stay out of the way and all the doors will start spring, springing open, even for you right now. As I speak, when I move, you move because the Spirit of God is right, is running right through in here. It's, it's over this sanctuary from which I speak. So, so all the doors in this in this dispensation shall begin to open for you. Shall begin to open for your children. Shall begin to open for your neighbors, your loved ones, your your family. The generational curse that has closed doors from you, I have lifted them. I have shattered them. I have opened them up, and doors will begin to open up for you. In the name of Yeshua Hamashiach, the prophet has spoken again. This is a powerful revelation coming from the prophets of old, and I speak by the power of the Holy Ghost. They, they, they go to the land of Tob. They are begging him to come back home. And it was the, the elders of Gilead. Uh, keep in mind that when uh, Jephthah's brothers were uh, running him out, out of town, when they ran him to the age of town, the elders were complacent. They did not. Uh, they they were they 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 were lukewarm. See, the worst thing that can the man can be is to be lukewarm. I understand it if you're cold, if you blow cold, if you're hot, but to be lukewarm is abominable. They did not say anything. They they did not uh, 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 they did not uh, uh, rebuke the the youth, the the, the, the his half brothers, who threw him out of his family's inheritance. They were lukewarm. And now they were still this, so they had culpability in Jephthah's travels, tribulations, and, and trauma. So now they are the ones who are going now to go and uh, uh, assuage and uh, uh, um, uh, you know um, beg him. They they are the one now going to uh, uh, you know plead with him. They are now going to tender the apology to to for him to come back. The, the elders of Gilead, and, and let me speak about the town of Gilead, the city of Gilead. Gilead was uh, a mountainous uh, region in, in the uh, east uh, of the river, uh, 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 Jordan River Valley, in the present day Kingdom of Jordan. It was a mountainous uh, uh, region, and it was uh, part of the tribe of Gad and Manasseh. The type, the tribe of God and Manasseh. So, so, so uh, it was half of the tribe of Manasseh, but it was a full, uh, you know, part of the tribe of God. And and keep in mind that the tribe of God is the tribe from which the Igbo Jews claim their Jewish ancestry, and also the tribe of Manasseh, because Jews are not one tribe. They they are not one thing. You know, the the some some authors will say uh, the twelve tribes. This this individual comes from the twelve tribe. This one comes from one of the twelve tribes. But we have seen an interpenetration of uh, genetic markers that uh, you know place uh, you know Jewish people uh, you know uh, within different tribes, either through marriage on the mother's side or through marriage on the father's side. So, so the Igbo Jews uh, are from the tribe of Gad and, and Manasseh. So you can see that they have relationship with with the uh, the, the city of Gilead, and and for you to know that. They 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 are uh, they have an affinity. They have a relationship. Is that when the elders of Gilead realized their mistake, when uh, the the half brothers of Jephthah realized their mistake, that they treated uh, Gilead in a, a very despicable, um, um, you know, manner. They went to apologize. They went to show their contriteness. They, 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 they went to make peace and, and, and put all of this behind them. Similarly, when Igbos offend you and they realize their mistakes, they usually go to uh, tender their apology or demonstrate their regrets. So you can see similarity in the attitude and the norms and the mores of these two people, the Igbo Jews and the Jews of Gilead. The Jews of Gilead may have acted uh, inappropriately, but they realized their mistakes. And now they have gone to apologize to the one who has been so, uh, you know, badly treated. That's how Igbos, uh, you, know, you know, behave in their, in their communities. They, uh, uh, they, uh, they just don't, street, they don't uh, 
uh, you know, uh, think in a, a one-way traffic format. They always go back and review and, and revisit their 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 words, their spoken words, their utterances, their uh, behaviors toward others to ensure that they were not out of line. And where they were out of line or out of order or in up, they've acted inappropriately. They usually go to apologize. And and this is uh, the highest point of maturity or or what is called post pubescence. You know you know maturity. You know post pubescence. They are no longer acting like. Uh, uh, you know, people. You know, within uh, uh, the, the the stage of puberty, they is post pubescence. They they act with maturity, and that's how 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 Igbo Jews act. They they act with a lot of maturity, like the the Jews of Gilead. You know, they, there was things they 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 didn't get right, but but they have turned around. They have realized their mistakes. They have gone to Jephthah, and they're asking him, "Come back home, come and fight for us." Now, somebody may argue. It, uh, you know that uh, oh well because they are in trouble now that's why they they are, they are going to beg uh, the, the the generalissimo the general generalissimo the the the, the 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 commander in chief the man who is a victor in in battles that may be a legitimate argument but the point is that they realize their mistakes and for them to send the elders they didn't they, they didn't even send his half brothers they sent the elders of the town. You see, because in Israeli society there is a, a, a hierarchical, uh, um, you know, order. You know, so the elders, you know, uh, are up there in the hierarchical chain, but they were the ones who were sent to a young man to uh, to come back home. So, so, so that's very powerful. That's very, very instructive. That the the, the people at the top of the hierarchy are being sent to make peace, and they ask him to come back home. But, but but watch what happens. He 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 addresses the elders. He, 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 he asks them, "Didn't you hate me, and drive me from my father's house? Why do you come to me now when you are in trouble?" Now you see there is a a, a, a theological tension in this uh, particular verse seven, because keep in mind it was his half brothers that drove.